In January 2008, eCademy subject matter experts Thomas and Penny Power had their knowledge productized for global release. The video you're about to watch is the result of that process. To find out how to create your own line of knowledge products for global monetization, or to view videos from other knowledge experts, visit www.productizeyourself.com. But there's a mechanical side to your profile as well. If you look across here at the top, if I zoom in here, you can see there's a number of things here that are important. The number of contacts you have, the ranking, where you're ranked in the UK, where you're ranked in the world, the country that you're ranked in, how many people rate you good, but critically, your testimonials. What people say about you when you're not there. To me, the most important thing on your profile are your testimonials. If you have no testimonials, does that mean people have no opinion of you? Does it mean they don't care and you don't care? I think your testimonials are the most critical thing in your profile. And if you look at what people say about you, it gives you a sense of how to develop yourself and project yourself into the wider market worldwide. So work very, very hard on getting your profile and your testimonials correct. Lastly, over here, profile hits. If I zoom in on there, on profile hits, every time somebody visits your profile, you get detail on the time, you get their name, you get the organization they're with, you get the location, and you get the country. And you get a little symbol at the end which tells you how many messages that you've had with them. Green being very active, white being inactive, and yellow being a mild mid-size. And I think it's important for you to think about what you do with each of those people that visit your profile. Do you go back and read theirs? Do you send a message to them? Think about them because they're effectively knocking on your front door. Are you taking any action with them? Now all of this is just covering your profile. Are there any questions about your profile that I can answer now? I have a question about testimonials and it's something I'm a little skeptical about. Sure. Because I have had uh, people ask me to write them a testimonial, sure. which puts me on the spot. You know, suppose I don't want to. But those are the people that you find that have lots of testimonials. Now I think it's, I, I would be cheesy if I said, could you please write me a testimonial? So I, I don't know, like when you say get testimonials, how do you do it without being cheesy? I don't think you can ask for a testimonial. People do all the time. If people ask for a testimonial, I wouldn't give a testimonial. I really wouldn't. Yeah. I, think, I think the only way to really get testimonials is to give them first. So everybody I meet and I spend time with on a one-to-one -one around the world, I write a testimonial for them. But I've met 10,000 members around the world. I don't have 10,000 testimonials. But I give testimonials to the people that I think I've had a really good connection with. And I think you need to give them first not ask for them. I wouldn't ask for them. Um, when I first created uh, my profile, and I'm clearly going to change it now, uh, I was focusing on what I wanted uh, in my words, whereas really yours are a lot more fun, uh, apart from the fact you support Chelsea, which I won't hold that against <laughs> you. Um, uh, and I, I, So really that's about just your area of interest or I mean, I notice, for instance, you've got mum, and I know that's a lovely thing to have, but why would that be there? Well, because she's very important to me, and I think with your 50 words, you've got to find a light way to engage. Because, you know, when people look at your profile online, they're looking at your photo a tenth of a second, they're scanning your 50 words another half a second, and you've got to find things that lift out at them ever so, ever so quickly, because they'll just click in the mouse click and disappear off to another profile. And not particularly heavy, I notice. I don't think it should be particularly heavy, no. It should talk about business stuff, it should talk about personal stuff, social stuff, but I think it should be attractive. The, the trouble with business and what people do for a living is it's not very attractive to people. Business is not very absorbing. People are very absorbing. Yeah. People are much more interesting than business. So the more of your self, Paul, you can reveal, I think, the better. Does that help? Yeah, excellent. 
Okay, so just a little wrap up there on profile so we've got all that clear in our minds. You've got your photograph, number one. Your face is your brand. Professional photograph, professional image. Cheap photograph, cheap image. Webcam photograph, webcam image. Think about what image you want to project. Your face is your brand. Your 50 words, your instant connection with somebody, your whole life wrapped up in 50 words. Bang, they've got you, they've seen it. In my case, printed on the back of a business card. Perhaps you want to print it on the back of your business card. Then you've got the first two lines of your profile. Those are the two lines that Google index first when they Google your profile. Those are the two lines that you want people to read when they type your name into Google. That's what they read. Oh, I know what Denise does. I know what Paul does. I know what Dan does. I've got it straight away, and I know how to contact them either on the phone or through email, whichever way you prefer to contact. And then through the rest of your profile, what image you want to project. As I said earlier, people are more interested in who you are than what you do. And I think photos are a great way to project who you are. And I think you should talk about your journey plan, your where you've come from, where you're going to, what you've succeeded with in life, and what you've failed with in life. People don't want to read success stories because they know they're not true. We're all full of failure and we're all full of success. Most of us know that failure is the route to success. Most of us know that. Project that. Reveal who you are and allow for your vulnerabilities to come through also. And then the mechanical side, what's important I think is your testimonials. As Penny always talks about network value, what people say about you when you're not there is your real measure of performance in networking. Focus hard on getting testimonials. The secret to getting testimonials is to give testimonials. Never ask for testimonials. Thank you.